Hi, welcome uh, to this VFA, which is all about uh, the best tips and advice for beginners in Forex trading. And what we're going to be doing today is learning from a legendary trader, Marty Schwartz, featured in the book Market Wizards, uh, where Jack Schwager interviewed all the great traders. Now, before we look at his trading tips, let's just uh, have a look at who he, who he is and his performance. And his performance is truly outstanding. Uh, he's a very private trader. and Basically, he works in isolation, but he does enter trading competitions, and he's been very, very successful at that. He entered 10 trading competitions, uh, which were publicly verified. He won nine of them. He basically had an average gain in four months of 221%, and his top performing win was with 781% in just four months. He did only break even in just one of the competitions uh, but he won the other nine and in the ten competitions overall he made more money than all the other traders who entered put together. And not only did he make a huge amount of money his drawdown is very very small it's in single figures uh, which is extraordinary compared to the gains that that he made. Now in terms of uh, a trader it took him actually ten years to become a successful trader and he made the key point that uh, you know, when he actually became a winner was when he actually changed two things about his trading. Uh, the first was he changed from fundamental to technical analysis. He was much more comfortable with technical analysis and it suited his personality. And that's the, the first lesson for any trader. You must have a strategy that suits your personality. You can make money with fundamental analysis or technical, but yeah, if you're trading a system, it must match you. You must be comfortable with it. And Schwartz, very comfortable with technical analysis. He also um, made the key point, which is an obstacle for most traders, is that you know, when he actually stopped wanting to be right and wanting to make money, that's when he started to make money. Most traders want to be right all the time in Forex. It isn't possible. Um, you're generally going to lose at least half your trades. And if you want to be right, um, what you will do is you'll run losses all the time and eventually wipe your trading accounts out. You have to lose your ego to win at Forex trading. Losses are just part of the game. You know? And on online, uh, this isn't really stressed enough, really. I think it, it's all stressed about the profits you can make. But the real successful traders um, are the ones who can ride out those periods of drawdown. And he makes some key points about riding out periods of drawdown. First of all, if you start to lose, cut back your position size. And don't be impatient. Don't try and get your loss back too quickly. The harder you try to get a loss back, the bigger it normally becomes. You have to sort of take it one step at a time, come off your drawdown, keep your size down, and just acknowledge it's going to take a bit of time. Now, in terms of profits, uh, he made... A really good point in terms of, yeah, you know, most traders give their profits back. You know, they'll get a big profit and they'll just give it all back to the market. Why? Because they'll increase their position size. They'll become excited. They'll become greedy, and they'll also become complacent, or they'll think, yeah, you know, that they've got that winning touch. It's like Short said, uh, after every winning streak is when you get a losing streak. And the, the key is to hang on to your profit. So as soon as he's got enough profit in relation to his account, um, he'll start to cut back his position size and make sure that he protects it. Most traders hang on too long, trying to um, try and make too much in terms of profit, and they don't know when to stop. You must know when to stop. And... Another key point is that, um, yeah, short speaking, you know, you, you do actually have to work. <laughs> Many traders think that they don't have to do any work when they come into forex trading. You have to basically get your education, and then you actually have to do your own analysis to win. And you'll never get rich following anyone else. You must must have your own strategy that you're comfortable with, because then only then will you be able to trade it through those periods of drawdown with discipline. And talking of discipline, um, he was actually in the Marines, and the Marines actually, um, yeah, he said, taught him that discipline to stick with his plan. You'll find a lot of great military personnel 
uh, make great traders. A lot of military personnel make the transition easily. Why? Because they're disciplined, they can follow a plan, and that's what you need to do in Forex trading. Now, you also made another key point in my view, which was that if you have a trade, and let's say you're worried about it overnight or over the weekend, and it suddenly opens up positive you know, on the next trading day, stick with it. A lot of traders would actually take it out and think they got out of jail, so to speak. But your best thing to do is to stick with it, he says, because there is an underlying justification for your trade. Also, the best trades are always those uncomfortable ones. So basically, stay with the trade. And Marty Schwartz doesn't really say anything radical, I don't think, uh, in, in the book, apart from that last point I gave you. Most of it is what the other traders in the book, uh, Market Wizards, stress. It's all about having the right psychology. It's all about having a simple trading method that you're confident in, that you're comfortable with. And the real, real key to winning in Forex trading is understanding you have to lose to win. As long as you keep those losses small, it doesn't matter. Um, but you must be able to cope with drawdown to win at Forex trading. And yeah, that requires yeah, discipline and good money management. And, and Short certainly has that uh, in terms of the way he cuts back his position size when he's losing and also moves to protect profit when he's winning. That's a brief introduction to Marty Shorts. Uh, if you want to read more, obviously get the book Market Wizards by Jack Schwager, who interviews Shorts and many of the other great traders. Thank you for watching me as usual. Take care. Have a good day.